Hello, this is Ronnie. I'm back here with a clip taken uh, from my log video that I just finished to record for my subscribers covering um, many markets, 70 minutes video. Uh, the clip that I have for you is as usual focusing on gold and silver. In addition, I'd like to mention that I'm going to reopen the special offer uh, that I have running from time to time in celebration of uh, modification of my uh, website I'm renovating, improving, uh, so you'll get a chance to see that. If you're interested, I will be providing more details at the end of the, uh, this clip. Other than that, I wish you have pleasant viewing and uh, have a great trading week. Bye now. Okay, that's uh, silver on the daily scale. Uh, silver is making some noises of wanting to go higher, but uh, essentially it is still uh, showing us uh, very, um, uh, very much a corrective pattern uh, on the daily and when we'll go to see the 60 minutes there's no doubt that this is corrective pattern which means that it is a counter trend move and the main move is down so um, the implication is that we may see further uh, we could see further um, formation of ABCs on a tiny scale here but the idea is that uh, silver is probably going to head lower. Uh, that that is my reading. There are um, several options that can be discussed as to the price action from this spot. Uh, several options. It could take a long time. I just want to focus on the, uh, what's happening here in terms of what what is the message that we have from what's going on here. Is this is a base? is going to lead to a very big run or is this is something that is telling us listen um, Silva is just telling us I'm staying here for a while um, but my intention is to continue down that is my focus right now and uh, if this is a false wave there is definitely an interpretation that could uh, take it back to relate to the one two that you see here on the daily and uh, again, there is another one, two, or A, B that opens up here. Uh, it can become very, very complex here because we do have a triangle right here in the middle in the, sh in the shape of an A, B, C, D, E. You see? So you can come down in a series of A, B, C, X, A, B, C. That's your big X. That's you, that could become uh, just a one leg. You see, all of these could become one leg. That will be your X that relates to this leg, even though the leg is split and is, is built of uh, several ABCs, it can be considered as one big leg. So your ABCDE would relate to this, okay? Imagine your triangle, yeah? Your triangle relates to this, and then you come down and you have again an A, B, and that's gonna be your C with a one, two, three, four, and silver will hit the floor around here. And then the door is opened. Silver could come back. That's what I'm trying to do with this interpretation. I'm trying to show you that uh, the door to come back is open as long as we don't smash seriously under the floor at uh, around 13 and a half. If we do smash seriously under the floor of 13 and a half, then I think that we have to embrace uh, the bearish view. Uh, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Uh, Mr. Market will, uh, in my opinion, uh, tell us fairly clearly that we have to embrace the bearish view uh, for more than just two, three weeks. Huh? It's going to be something big, uh, but there's no need to rush, no need to push a wave count. We have to let Mr. Market come to us with an idea, yes, with a, with a decision. Um, we break down, so we have the B ending here, somewhere around here or here, and uh, what we are witnessing here. Uh, once it crashes through the floor, is basically the big C. Now, if you lost track of that, I want to quickly show you. Do you remember that? That's the weekly. A lot of um, gold bulls will just not accept it, and they will say that this is uh, something that um, is never going to happen. And uh, if they say it's never going to happen, then you know it might happen. Because in the markets, you can never say never anything could happen if you have a state of mind that accepts that anything could happen then you are probably doing well you are flexible enough in your attitude and uh, and that as far as i'm concerned that's the right way to go about things i'm not suggesting silver is uh, is going down for 10 years it could be um, 
a breakdown of one or two years and it might not necessarily go back to four but it will give us a break of this level yes and then it could come back because i think on the horizon somewhere we can see inflation uh building up whether it's going to show up in one year or two years it's going to show up in the next three to five years it's going to show up big so um i think that uh silver and gold are going to come back big uh, but this is a pattern that is still there and it's not resolved as much as we would like it to be already resolved and give us that uh, uh, clarity uh, it's not resolved when something is not resolved in the markets you don't take action it's not about you taking initiative you don't take any initiative it's not going to make any difference what initiative the only initiative you can take is uh, uh, to be resolved to uh, follow Mr. Market and be patient uh, here we go. Do you see the, um, that is the formation of almost certainly a triangle? A triangle that is composed of lots of ABCs here. In short, a big mess. This is now the 60 minutes. I could be wrong. It could be that there is a pattern here that I'm missing. Uh, some sort of formation that uh, escaped me. But right now, what I see is just a bunch of ABCs. An A, B, or B, that's a C, that's an X, that's an A, that's a B, that's a C. And again, going down in another formation of A, B, C potentially here. Do you see what I'm doing with this? Uh, that's what I think should be done currently in the case of the chart of silver. Here's the chart of gold. That's the weekly. And it's very tempting to um, say we are dealing with an inverse head and shoulders and uh, gold is coming back. It's going to fly above uh, 1,376. Hey, it's just going to the moon. It's going to 1,800. Well, you know what? It's possible. Definitely possible. Do you see the idea that that could be 1 uh, or A? And you can see that's an A, that's a B, and that could be a C that may have actually registered a failure. All this is possible. But this will be confirmed as far as I'm concerned only and let me repeat only on a flying through the um, line that you see here the move yeah the pink line that you see here only um, if uh, we get um, um, gold flying through that in a very impulsive manner uh, can we be certain that uh, uh, we are leaving behind uh, the formation here of an inverse head and shoulders then we are going to have a massive move up right now there are still I'm afraid a lot of options that are open. One of them keeps the big picture of the ABC intact. A yes to the annoyance of many bulls. Uh, the ABC has not gone away. The big ABC. That's our A. And the B could still be alive and well. And what is going on? Uh, if that is the case, that that is an A. That's a B. Just follow what I'm saying, not the labelings, because there are so many options here. So that's your big A. And then you go up, you have an A, composed of A, B, C. That's an A. A, B, C. That's a B. That's a C. That's a D. And should gold continue up for a few more weeks, it goes up, let's say, to 1,300, uh, it could form a perfect A, B, C, D pattern. It forms that A, B, C pattern and it terminates, it gives you the B after which it could be ready for that major slide. That major slide could send it down uh, by a big chunk to, um, and there are many figures that we can run concerning that. Um, could run to about 800. There is a lot of support in this zone. Bottom line here is 700 to 1000. I think that if it's going to give us a uh, uh, SC on this scale of the ABC, it's going to go down to the other side of the channel. They're talking about a very, very big move down. That's going to send uh, um, the dollar sharply higher. Okay, so that is the big picture that we uh, should consult from time to time. And let me now show you the, um, the action recently. It's been uh, looking up. And we had interpretation, if you remember, that that uh, could form actually part of a fourth wave. In the last few days, uh, yeah, we have been looking at this and we were saying that we could get a triangle here. And I did warn you all along that this triangle could actually be a trap where we are going to witness an ABC shooting high. 
this is still possible and it could still work out on the daily as this being one two not an ab one two this is a third wave and abc forming part of the fourth wave okay and gold will come down and it did if you see gold going back to uh, the trading range here in the coming week uh, that is the best interpretation that i can think of that we should take this as an abc meaning that gold is going to come down breaking out the 1160 okay now if gold goes to uh, a sharp extension of the a it's going to break the uh, proportion of a possible one two three four so this is going to drop is going to go and we're going to have to work with this being an abc and the abc here will relate to the abc here in what way this will form the e leg the e leg the abc that you see here yeah imagine to yourself gold is doing something like that that's perfectly possible abc so this abc yeah instead of terminating here it will terminate somewhere here uh, this abc will be the last leg the e leg of the triangle that finishes the b if i'm right then gold is going to stop somewhere around here and will start an absolutely catastrophic collapse to the astonishment of many many players now, again i could be wrong you know i am wrong you know that this analysis means something if gold continues higher and it runs towards 1380 and it just powers ahead then we're going to leave behind the idea of the triangle we are going to leave behind the idea of the b and we're going to look up big yes we would have an inverse head and shoulders with the neckline busted gold has a green light to continue a lot higher now let's uh zoom in on the 60 minutes here quickly and let's see what it's doing This is my A, that is an A, B, C, D, E, probably terminating here or here. It's not going to make a huge difference. We have five legs run here that um, has not reached an end. This is almost certainly a fourth wave. Okay, that's a fourth wave. So it could be that we have a one, two, three, four, and we need another push high almost certainly above 1,228 uh, to complete that five wave run. And then the moment of truth, if, if it holds here, and it holds on to the gain fairly nicely uh, then there is a fighting chance it's going to continue quite a lot higher it sinks back it gives you that push high and it sinks back down there forget it it's almost certainly not going to go back up it's done it's finished the abc is finished it's going to come down it does anything like that crushing through the floor of 1180 and you sell with two hands you sell 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 it's going to break 1160 very likely it's going to dive sharply okay so these are the two scenarios that i have for you hello this is ronnie i'm back here with uh, some details of the special offer that i mentioned to you early on uh, so you need to go on my website you find it uh, at wave mastery yes www.wavemastery.com that's the front page you see i have uh, if you are familiar with the previous version uh, you can see this is a modified version and uh, you run through there is a bit of text here and um, concerning the special offer you will see uh, some tabs here that focus on the offer yeah it begins uh, with a trial for the daily videos uh, a trial that is uh, costing you only um, 9.99 for uh, one week if you like what you see you have um, more details uh, about what is covered in the trial as well as in the daily videos once you click on the subscribe here but this gives you just a, a very brief idea of uh, what is uh, really covered uh, if you go for the daily videos you click here if you want to go for the weekend uh, videos uh, obviously you click here well uh, let's suppose you go for the um, daily videos you click here it takes you to the page that gives you full explanation of what is involved um, if you are from Europe, uh, VAT applies. Uh, most countries are subject to VAT, so you have to select your country here. If you are from uh, anywhere else, if you are from the UK, USA, Belgium, oddly enough, because I'm based in Belgium, but uh, in Belgium, you don't pay VAT. 
Uh, so USA, UK, Belgium, the rest of the world, basically, you don't pay any VAT, uh, only 79 applies. So your subscription will start with a 9.99 after one week, uh, the 79 will kick in every month. Uh, you click on that, it takes you to uh, uh, PayPal, uh, you go through the, it's a fourth straightforward uh, process. Uh, you pay, you see, it starts with uh, uh, for the first seven days, 9.99. Uh, you go through that, it takes you back to the page um, and uh, essentially you get your logins. Yes, you go through, you have to fill in all your details, gives you the login and um, you will need more information uh, for me. So as soon as uh, uh, you subscribe, I will um, get in touch with me. Uh, I will uh, provide you the necessary details to complete your uh, subscription and have access uh, to the videos. Uh, if we go back to the main page, um, I just want to run very quickly here through the menu. Uh, I'm in the process of actually, um, you know, introducing, introducing some changes uh, to my website. So the, the front page might look slightly different. Maybe in the next week or so, I will be adding a few links here and there. But in general, um, I have written a few articles here that you might like to take a look at. Is this website for me, psychology and trading, trading in the arts, why join? Uh, you go through, uh, you've got a uh, subscribe, he also gives you an access to the, uh, to the special promotional offer. Yeah, it's just another way of accessing it instead of uh, coming from the front page. Yeah, you will have uh, um, you will access uh, through the, the menu here. Uh, use subscription that, that relates to uh, uh, the pages once you subscribe, once you log in, etc. It tells you which one is your subscription, etc. You have resources uh, here in chart galleries. You have a lot of charts um, giving you um, a very good idea how this um, um, principle of the Elliott waves is being applied to various markets at various time scales. It's very, very interesting. You should go through that if you are really fan of uh, charts. Useful link, recommended reading list, all the other things are fairly standard. Um, take a look. Uh, contact us. That's for um, any issue that comes. Uh, you come across. You have a question. You have a doubt. You have anything you want to discuss with me. Just uh, use contact us. Uh, normally, uh, for the payment, I'm using PayPal, but you can pay uh, through other uh, means. For example, I can accept money through Skrill. Um, there is even a possibility to make a wire transfer to the um, account of uh, uh, the company that I use. Uh, yes, to run this website. Uh, if you don't have PayPal or you don't want to use PayPal, there are other ways to um, um, to pay and to join. Uh, there are a few uh, comments here that people put on my uh, concerning my work. I, in the past, I had many more. I just because I'm in the process of uh, uh, yes, uh, improving. I'll have to um, uh, transfer, bring more uh, of the history, yes, of my work uh, to this um, uh, new uh, version. Uh, again, if you have any questions, uh, you just press this. That takes you to the contact us page. Uh, name, email address, please make sure you give me the right email address. Message, very simple maths, fill it in here, submit, and I get it. So I mentioned that I am, uh, in principle, I'm in Belgium. So um, if you write to me from the US or from Australia or anywhere in the world and I don't reply on the spot, please give me a few hours. I will reply. Okay, I will reply. This particular weekend, I have uh, gone through uh, covering a lot uh, of um, the charts that are affecting um, the um, forex market, the precious metals. And there is some really very, very interesting study that I'm sure you would absolutely love if you're interested in the precious metals and in currencies in general. Okay, so um, I, um, I think at the very least, it's worth your while to have a go for a trial. Go for a trial and you see, uh, you, you will have access and you can ask me also some questions if you like. Uh, and then you'll see how things evolve for you. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. I'm here to help. Um, I hope to see you visiting my website, supporting my work. Um, wish you have a great uh, trading week. All the best. Bye for now.